30th, yes, I said 30th episode of Mandatory Mondays this year. I'm your host, Aubrey Patty. And I'm Tanner Cates, and we have a lot of info this week, so let's get right into it. Students, prom is just around the corner, so please be sure you are academically eligible to purchase a ticket. Tickets will be available in the Student Union starting today and will be sold for $50 throughout the week. If you plan to bring a guest that isn't a student at BA High School, you will need to go by and pick up a guest form and have it filled out prior to purchasing a guest ticket. Guest forms must be approved before the ticket will be sold. If you have questions about dress code, guest forms, or eligibility requirements, please stop by the Student Union or see an administrator. Also, BA's second annual walkathon will be taking place on Friday, May 6th from 6 to 8.30 p.m. It is $10 per person with a t-shirt and $5 without a shirt. The night will be a fun, family-friendly evening that will help raise funds for our district-wide Tiger Challenge curriculum and service project and is open to the entire community. There will be inflatables and activities throughout the evening. Sign up in the Student Union today. Seniors, Project Graduation is the free all-night graduation celebration for the class of 2016. There are several great events planned, including a hypnotist, comedian slash magician, laser tag, and much more. Project Graduation will also feature two sessions with the Painted Lion. The Painted Lion guides you through painting a predetermined design on a canvas. Seniors wishing to participate in one of the two Painted Lion events will sign up online or in the Student Union beginning today and ending on April 29th. A link will be sent via the at BHS Tigers Twitter each day. Seniors without Twitter access can sign up in the Student Union. Hi guys, I'm Sam. And I'm Sammy, and this week is officially Tiger Responsibility Week, in which we will reflect on making good decisions. Starting on Tuesday, you can sign the pledge to make responsible decisions during and after prom. Today and tomorrow, be sure to sign up to participate in a demonstration on Wednesday that will shed a light on the harmful effects of bad decision making. But on Thursday, there will be tombstones around campus with important facts about drinking and driving. Then finally, on Friday, during lunch, there will be a staged car wreck scene at the front of the school, so be on the lookout. Want to have your writing seen by thousands each week? Are you interested in joining BHSPulse.com team and the Pulse Print Edition team? We are looking for good writers to tell stories of BHS next year, and you could be one of them. Newspaper students score well on state contests, take field trips to Norman, and interview students on campus, and membership looks great on college applications. If you are interested, head over to BHSPulse.com and click on the application link at the top of the page. Hi, I'm Drew, here with James Taylor, and this is your weekly 60-second Tiger Sports Report. First off this week, we would like to congratulate senior lady basketball player Alexis Galden for being named the Tulsa World's All-Metro Player of the Year for the second year in a row. She is the first female to win the award in back-to-back -back season since 1980. Congrats again. And now for a look ahead at this week's sports action. The baseball team will have three contests this week highlighted by the team's regular season home finale at 1 p.m. on Saturday versus Fayetteville. The boys golf team will be in Barbersville today for the tournament and the girls team will be competing at regionals on Tuesday at Ponca City. The boys and girls soccer teams will play their final regular season game at Bixby on Tuesday beginning at 6 p.m. Boys will follow at 8. The boys and girls tennis teams will be competing at Union on Tuesday then again on Saturday on 8 a.m. on both occasions. The slow pitch softball team will begin their bid for a state title on Wednesday when they host a regional here at the Tiger softball field. Their first game will start at 11.15 a.m. This Thursday, the track and field team will be heading to Union at 3.30 p.m. to compete at their conference meet. Good luck to all our teams this week. Any student that is interested in basketball or softball, listen up. The boys basketball team will be holding a tryout on May 4th and 5th in the field house from 3 to 5 p.m. on both days. Players must wear a light colored t-shirt with their name on the back of their shirt. The softball team will be also be holding a tryout on May 10th through 11th from 3.30 until 5.30 p.m. at the Tiger Softball Field. If you are involved in a spring sport, please contact Coach King at rking at baschools.org or the number below to set up times which will not interfere with your other sport. You must have a current physical dated on or after May 1st to participate in either tryout. Sports physicals for all Broken Air athletes will be given in the field house Monday, May 2nd from 5.30 to 10 p.m. Cost is $20. Again, you cannot participate in any 2016-17 sport without a physical dated on or after May 1st, so don't forget. Hello everyone, I'm Emily. And I'm Sabrina. And these are your fine arts announcements for this week. Anyone interested in being in show choir next year, listen up, because auditions are this week, starting today and going through the 29th. It will be from 3 to 6 in the Broken Arrow Fine Arts Facility. There will be a dance clinic from today until Wednesday, and then dance auditions will be on Thursday and Friday. Don't forget to prepare an audition song that really shows off your voice. 
On Thursday, April 28th at 7 p.m., the Broken Arrow Public Schools Dance Program will present Ignite. The performance will include a modernized ballet production of The Sorcerer's Apprentice, multiple lyrical dance works from Adele's album 25, modernized Horton and Limon dance works, and Ignite, a jazz piece that explores the soul in limbo between our hearts and our minds while examining what it is that fuels our fire. This will be held in the Black Box Theater in Broken Arrow High School. It's only $5 at the door, so be sure to come over Thursday for an amazing performance. Lastly, we want to congratulate the BHS Percussion Ensemble for receiving an invitation to perform at the 70th Annual Midwest Band and Orchestra Clinic in Chicago. This is the second year in a row that the Broken Arrow Bands will be represented at the prestigious Midwest Clinic. Hi, I'm Lexi here with McKinsey, and these are your Beyond BA College and Career Office announcements for this week. First up this week, a representative from Oklahoma State University will be here today beginning at 11 a.m. On Thursday, the Academy for Future Teachers from Northeastern State Broken Arrow will be here beginning at 9 a.m., so if you're interested in either college, please stop by and say hello. Students, the South Intermediate PTA Scholarship is a $600 award given to a current Broken Arrow High School senior that attended Broken Arrow South Intermediate High School. You must be planning on entering an institution of higher education or technical school. The application can be found under scholarships in your Navians account. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Haas in the College and Career Office. Also seniors, if you have been awarded a scholarship for any post high school education, please come by the College and Career Office to report this information. Every year, BAHS hosts the Scholarship Awards Assembly, but we don't know how you've been awarded a scholarship unless you report it. Each year, the total scholarship amount is calculated and we want to beat last year's money amount. Please see Ms. Carr or Ms. Haas if you have any questions. Junior and senior Hispanic students need to see Ms. Torres in room A132 for a permission slip if they want to attend the College and Career Center Fair slash scholarship field trip. It will take place on May 5th at TCC Southeast Campus. We are limited to 25 spaces so it will be first come first serve. Sophomores may attend only if the spaces are not filled by juniors and seniors. Permission slips are due by April 29th. And lastly, don't forget to sign up to see Mr. Etzel every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday in the College and Career Center if you're interested in applying or have any questions about Tulsa Tech. Well, that's all we have for you for this episode of Mandatory Mondays. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat to be in the know here at BAHS. Thanks again, and we will see you next time.